chiropractors and doctors, but they are not medical doctors. Mainly, they adjust your spine, your body structure. And most of them say that by doing that, they can treat just about any ailment, not just back aches, but colds, liver trouble, even heart conditions. Well, that gets medical doctors mad, for many physicians call doctors of chiropractic quacks. And the AMA is on record as saying that chiropractic is an unscientific cult. The chiropractors have struck back. They have filed suit in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Illinois against organized medicine for monopolizing health care. But before we get into the pros and cons of all that, let's take a look at what a chiropractor actually does. How have you been treated since the last time I saw you? Very well. Dr. Sid Williams of Marietta, Georgia, is treating a 70-year-old patient who's been coming to him since she gave up on her medical doctor 22 years ago. This chiropractor heals her, tones up her body, mind, and spirit, she told us, by helping her nerves to function better through these spinal adjustments. Sure. She comes to see him about once a month. She is skeptical of medical doctors, and Dr. Sid Williams is downright angry about them. Now, the medical doctor's ethical code says that there can never be an ethical relationship with a medical doctor and a doctor of chiropractic, or a, uh, as they refer to it, as a quack charlatan and a cultist. For 23 years, doctor of chiropractic Sid Williams, president of Life Chiropractic College outside Atlanta, has been lobbying for chiropractic and fighting the medical doctor's view of chiropractors. Medical doctors have set up a dogma that chiropractic right. is an unscientific cult. It's like the Nazis did in Germany when they decided in their own minds that the Jewish people were bad. They set up the dogma and when they persecuted them and uh, exterminated seven million Jewish people, it was because they were, that was the crime against Nazi Germany. Well, wait a second. You're not saying the doctors are Nazis and chiropractors are the no, Jews? No, I'm not saying uh, No, I'm just comparing the dogma that's set up because the Jewish people were convicted because they were Jewish on the dogma. Now, if you think that's a trifle extreme, Listen to some milder comments from students who were training under Dr. Sid, many of whom gave up other careers to come into chiropractic. Now remember, chiropractors don't prescribe drugs. They don't believe in them. And listen to why they think medical doctors are so anti-chiropractic. If they accepted the, the theory of health, like we've, we've come to know it, then the antibiotics and some of the other things that they give, you know, they'd have to close their offices because the drug business is a multi-billion dollar business and it becomes a matter of economics not a matter of right and wrong or health or ill health just economics and from my experiences in america the dollar carries the big stick i'll contact this phone come here it might put your hand right here you see it this night the chiropractic controversy with the medical profession begins here with the chiropractic adjustment Oh, yes. Now I'm going to contact that right here. Uh, and when we turn on this vital energy into the rest of her body, then she's in a state of uh, improved health. At least in a little while she will be. Okay. Chiropractors don't use medicines. They are not allowed to do surgery. They believe that just by moving your spine like this, they can help your nerves function better. And that, in turn, helps cure or even prevent disease. How old was she when she had her first adjustment? Three days. Three days? Yes, sir. Why? For preventative measures to keep her healthy. Well, what does the pediatrician say, or don't you have one? I have one, and he says she's the healthiest nurse he's seen. And does he agree with the fact of having these adjustments by a chiropractor, or does he think that you're just foolish? No, he doesn't know. You don't tell it? Well, I don't like to hear people run the chiropractor down for them. As we said, chiropractic patients come in for treatment of all kinds of ailments, from colds to heart conditions, from backache to headache. And many say they come here after being disillusioned at their medical doctor's office. They pay from 7 to $12 a visit to Dr. Sid. When Brandon was seven months old, he started with a flu-type virus, uh, vomiting, diarrhea, that type thing. Right. Okay, I took him to a locally acclaimed pediatrician who I had the utmost confidence in. <laughs> okay, two months later, and maybe six to eight bottles of medicine, I didn't keep up for sure. He was no better. He was worse. And so you took him here to Dr. So I Sid? Him. I brought him, and Dr. Nail adjusted him. At the end of the first week, I threw all of his medicine in the trash can. At the end of the second week, he was eating anything he wanted to, sleeping, healthy, playing. <laughs> Do you 
And that's the kind of thing we heard wherever we went in preparing this report in New York and Pennsylvania and Florida. Came over one time in a wheelchair, all bundled up, all covered with sweat, had a terrific fever. Took him about 20 minutes to eliminate it. To eliminate the fever? Yeah. You serious? serious. I'm, I'm serious. Correct me if I'm wrong. Of the four of you whom we found at random sitting here in this office this morning, we've never met each other before, I get the impression that each one of you is more satisfied with your doctor of chiropractic than you are or than you were with your medical doctor. That's true. Definitely. Old ladies give you pain pills. Tell relief. Then she get permanent relief.